Today I will give a talk on our accepted work in the Web Conference 2022. Firstly, I will make a short introduction of myself. My name is Meng. I come from Kuaisho, a famous short video internet company in China, and my personal email is listed there. If you have any questions or advice about our work, feel free to let me know. Thanks. The title of our work is LBCF, a large-scale budget-constrained causal forest algorithm. The link for paper and code are listed below. The content of my talk contains four parts, introduction, policy evaluation and methodology, finally experiment. Firstly, I will talk about the background. Giving away incentives is a popular and effective way to boost user engagement and platform revenue. For example, discounts in ride sharing, Uber, DD, and coupons in e commerce, Alibaba, Booking.com. BTS problem. In industrial settings, these marketing campaigns are under limited budget constraints, thus, it is crucial to distribute limited incentives with efficiency. And the most challenging task is to identify target user with heterogeneity. In this work, we regard such problem as a budget constraint treatment selection BTS problem. Challenge. The challenge is how to efficiently solve BTS problem on a large scale data set and achieve improved results over the existing techniques. In this paper, we mainly focus on the tree based techniques because of its excellent performance in industry. Two related techniques. Uplift random forest with greedy treatment selection and optimal treatment selection algorithm. Next we talk about contribution. This paper proposed a novel tree-based treatment selection technique under budget constraint called large-scale budget constraint causal forest LBCF algorithm. For evaluation, we proposed a novel offline evaluation method for budget constraint treatment selection BTS problem called the percentage mean gain PMG. For tests, we conducted a series of extensive experiments, which includes a simulation test on a public synthetic dataset, an offline test on collected a real-world dataset, and an online A-B test on a large-scale video platform. Okay. Next we introduce the problem formulation. Capital X represents the feature vector and little x its realization. Capital T represents the treatment. Let capital Y denote the response and little y its realization. Then we try to estimate the conditional average treatment effect gained by the middle expression. Also we make some assumptions. Like the unconfoundedness assumption, the SUTVA assumption, and we assume that there are no cost if T is equals to zero. Next, we talk about policy evaluation. First is the review of existing methods. One category is to use the metric area under the other AUUC. In multi-treatment case, such methods require all users to be ranked in descending order by their score, which is the maximal predicted treatment effect among all possible treatment assignments. However, the we evaluate policy does not necessarily select the maximal treatment because the maximal treatment may not be the optimal one. The other category is the expected outcome metric. Summing the weighted outcome of users where the RCTs and policies treatments match. The problem is the evaluated users is not the whole RCT users, which cause the consumed budget change with different treatment selection policies. Okay. For the proposed method, we utilize the matching of RCT treatment and policy treatment. Because for these match samples, we can observe the actual outcome. 
and the sample average is also an unbiased estimate of the above estimator. Finally, percentage mean gain PMG can be calculated as follows. Next, we began to introduce our LBCF algorithm. Before that, a review of existing methods. Firstly, uplift random forest. Uplift random forest methods simply choose the treatment with the maximal treatment effect. We call such treatment selection policy as a greedy treatment selection policy. In the following, by a toy example, we show that such greedy treatment selection policy is suboptimal under a given budget B. If we select treatment 2 for user 1, select no treatment for user 4 and select the same for others as before. Then the budget is still 6, but the total value increases to 98. And the second method is optimal treatment selection algorithm proposed by 2E. There are two limitations, especially for a large-scale BTS problem. Firstly, on a large-scale dataset, the author suggested the cohort level optimization instead of the member level optimization because of the lack of a large-scale linear programming optimization solver. However, as two tested on low noise level dataset, member level optimization can generate more personalized estimations. Therefore, we wish to develop a parallel algorithm to solve the member level optimization for BST problem on a large scale dataset. Secondly, in order to realize multi treatment effect estimation, two simply train multiple binary causal forests MBCF, separately, that is, one causal forest generates the treatment effect estimation for one treatment group versus control group. However, two limitations of MBCF, it is computationally cumbersome to train and maintain many binary causal forests BCF. For a user, the treatment effect estimation generated by one BCF may belong to different feature space from that of other BCFs, which contradicts the definition of Kate. Okay. Next for proposed algorithm LBCF. Overall, we break BTS problem into two steps. Estimate Kate and solving a constrained optimization problem. To overcome the limitations of MBCF and to discriminate the treatment effect estimation across multi-treatment by modifying BCF, we design a new multi-treatment causal forest model with the following two properties unified. The model builds only one causal forest. All treatments are split together and follow the same split rules. Discriminative, the model can discriminate both internode heterogeneity and intranode heterogeneity. For splitting criterion, we first propose the split criteria for the new multi-treatment causal forest, which consists of inter-split and intra-split. To balance the efficiency and effectiveness, especially on a large-scale dataset, we propose a new causal forest called Unified Discriminative Causal Forest UDCF with a two-step split criteria. Okay. Then, we can formulate our optimization problem as follows. We firstly decompose it into multiple independent sub-problems by utilizing linear relaxation and dual. Compared with other state-of-the-art approximation optimization methods, EGB can be deployed in distributed computing systems much more easily with the same ON time complexity and requires no additional hyperparameter tuning as its gradient descent-based alternative. Based on proposed UDCF and DGB, we sum up our methods as follows. Okay. The last is experiment. Firstly, simulation analysis. We use the same method as to to generate the synthetic dataset. In this simulation, we assume there are 80,000 samples and each sample has three treatments. 
we maximize the treatment effect of outcome while constraining the cost under the budget B. Besides, we also measure the performance of different methods under different levels of noise in data by introducing the uncertainty weight hyperparameter as in two. In order to make a convincing result, we also use the same measurement metric as in two normalized mean of individualized treatment effect ITE for synthetic data. result, it's obviously that in any uncertainty weight, LBCF is superior to any other baseline method, which proves the good performance of the proposed algorithm. Okay, next offline test. On a video app, we allocated 0.1% online traffic to RCT and the RCT ran two weeks to collect enough sample data, which was used as training instances for all the methods. Each instance was attributed with associated features, e.g. app visit behaviors, area, historical statistics, etc. Outcome campaign engagement duration and treatment bonus points, if applicable details described in supplementary material. Method LBCF achieved its largest PFG of users campaign engagement duration in any budget configuration, which is consistent with the results in simulation analysis. Finally, online tests. The online AB experiment was conducted for more than 15 days on a large scale video app. In this online experiment, we only compare LBCF with the following two methods CT, SAT, and CF, DT, due to the high cost of implementing the pipeline and launching online AB tests. After the first few days, the proposed LBCF, UDCF, EGB, consistently provides a high percentage gain, 7.79% of the last day. One baseline CF, DT, MBCF, EGB, is the worst among groups, 5.31% of the last day, because MBCF is worse than UDCF as we illustrated before. Another baseline CT, SAIT, is in the middle, 6.87% of the last day, which is basically consistent with our offline test results. Okay. Thank you for listening. Because of the time zone, I am sorry that I would not be able to attend live at the scheduled time of my presentation. If you have any questions or advice about our work, feel free to let me know. Thanks.